And welcome to day 20 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 38 in the Eastern Pacific. And we currently have two tropical storms active at the moment. Tropical Storm Barry in the Atlantic in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, which has just intensified to a 40 mile, 45 mile per hour storm. And uh, Tropical Storm Leapy in the Western Pacific, which is moving over uh, the Yayama and Miyako Islands in Japan at the moment as a tropical storm with 40 mile per hour winds. Two other Inves active as well in the Western Pacific. You can see them here. 94W currently with a medium chance of development and that's likely to be raised very soon as the Japan Meteorological Agency has already designated as a tropical depression. Uh, we also have Lipi, Philippine name Imong moving towards the north and Invest 95W which is not too far from the international dateline uh, near Micronesia at the moment. And of course in the Atlantic we have here Tropical Storm Barry which uh, got its name earlier today and is expected to strike the Mexican coastline at the moment um, in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Tropical Storm warnings already in effect for parts of the Mexican coast at the, mi at the moment. More on that uh, very shortly. In the Indian Ocean we had Invest 97S yesterday, that's been declassified today, you can still see it um, not too far from Indonesia, the uh, clouds associated with that storm at the moment, not likely to form into a tropical storm obviously. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, temperatures are certainly ripe for formation, especially in the eastern Pacific area to the south of Mexico, uh, to the north of Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico of course, where Barry is right now, temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius at the moment, so certainly warm enough for a tropical storm. Um, in the northern Bay of Bengal, along the Indian and Bangladeshi coastlines, uh, 30 degree waters quite abundantly here, um, and around the Philippine coast towards the northern Philippines as well, 30 degree waters or more uh, here in particular around Luzon. Uh, Tropical Storm Leapy then, Emong the Philippine name, currently winds of 40 miles per hour, pressure of 996 millibars, and that's been fairly consistent ever since it formed really. Position 24.7 north, 125.2 east, and it's expected to curve towards the northeast and then towards the uh, east northeast as a tropical storm without intensifying much if at all and then eventually turning extra tropical as a tropical depression um, in, the, in around two or three days time as it passes Japan. Now obviously it's already passing the Japanese chain islands, the Ryukyu islands at the moment uh, and in particular around uh, Miyako and um, the Yayama islands at the moment as a tropical storm and that's where we have a heavy rain warning at the moment um, for the Yayama Islands, heavy rain warning here, and gale advisories in effect for Miyako, Yayama, Okinawa and Amami Islands, uh, basically all of the Ryukyu Islands in Japan at the moment. And over in the Japanese mainland as well, there's lots of rain warnings in effect, not to do with the storm, um, so it's obviously not going to help matters when the storm moves into that area. Here's Tropical Storm Barry, you can see it, 45 miles per hour, 1,005 millibars at the moment, and is expected to uh, make landfall in Mexico at that intensity, and then weaken quite quickly into a tropical depression and then dissipate quite soon in around 36 hours over Mexico. Uh, so that's Tropical Storm Barry there. The warning area has been extended northwards in the past, in the last update um, as of zero, uh, 0 hundred hours UTC, that's midnight, um, June the 20th and tropical storm warnings in effect from Punta El Legato to Tuxpan in Mexico at the moment. That's a tropical storm warning for winds, uh, uh, sustained winds of 40 miles per hour or more, but it's still probably going to be rain that's going to be the biggest concern and indeed any resulting flooding that occurs in Mexico from this storm. So here's the satellite imagery of the Western Pacific at the moment, more specifically towards the Philippine Sea and the South China Sea. You can see both systems here, uh, Tropical Storm Leapy and all of its um, you can see all the clouds associated with it stretching quite away towards the south, uh, not affecting the Philippines at the moment, which is certainly a good thing. Uh, the invest down towards the uh, down towards the bottom left of the screen there is probably causing more effects over the Philippine Islands. That may develop over the next few days as it moves northwards. Uh, here's the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico in particular. You can see Barry forming. Uh, this was around 24 hours over the course of today, and it's certainly looking the best it has done so far in the latest frames, and that's going to make landfall of course in Mexico, the Veracruz region in particular. And here's Invest 94, a quick floater imagery of this one. You can see it trying to wrap itself around quite a lot of intense cloud tops there at the moment towards the south side of that storm. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next few days as that storm um, has promise certainly as it moves towards the north and it may cause quite a lot of heavy rain over the um, uh, the western side of Luzon and Manila as well is obviously over there. Uh, the CMC model then, uh, looking at the computer models, 
obviously predicting uh, quite a system in the eastern Pacific in the next few days. That's certainly a significant hurricane there, according to the CMC model in, the, in a few days' time. The ECMWF model predicting a system in the um, in the Pacific as well. Certainly hurricane status, I'd say, looking at that one. Um, so it's quite. Uh, there's two of them already uh, predicting a hurricane, and there is more on the way. Um, obviously not too much to say about Barry because it's not going to last very long. The GFS model, we saw it very quickly at the start, again predicting a system in the Eastern Pacific, and perhaps two of them as a matter of fact, with the first one merging into the second one around halfway through that forecast period there. The NavGem model uh, isn't usually as clear but here it is showing another system in the Eastern Pacific forming there and it's fairly, um, fairly well agreed upon so far on the tracks of the models we've seen there. Um, as to where it's going to go. Not going to affect land particularly, perhaps a little bit of a um, rough surf conditions along the Mexican coastline. The GDFL uh, predicting a little bit of something in the Eastern Pacific at the end of that run there, but this one, that will focus more on Barry and its um, plight as it will be as it goes into Mexico. The HWRF predicts very interesting outcome in the Eastern Pacific there, a hurricane uh, towards the end of that run as well in that last frame in particular you could see a hurricane forming there. Looking at the overall predicted season scores and for June the 20th obviously with the two new storm scores are going up or indeed down uh, with Kent remaining first with 106, Typhoon Belper with 99 and Hurricane Melissa 20 with 97 points. That's the top three at the moment. You can submit your own storm totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive and you can just press the 2013 predict the season button which will take you straight to the uh, submission form and then you can submit all your totals for the northern hemisphere and be entered into the leaderboard. It is updated manually so the update will not come in immediately uh, but it will be there in due course. On this day on June the 20th then, quite a few things as always. In 1978, Tropical Storm Bud dissipating in the Eastern Pacific in 1982. Subtropical Storm 1 turning postropical in the Atlantic in 84. Depression 2 dissipating after landfall in northern Mexico. In 1988, Tropical Storm Bud forming in the Eastern Pacific. Beatrice dissipating uh, five years later. And Tropical Storm Arlene making landfall on Padre Island, Texas. Causing 26 fatalities and $55 million in damages. In 96, Tropical Storm Arthur made landfall near Cape Lookout, North Carolina with sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Also that year, Tropical Storm Alma formed in the Eastern Pacific. Opal made landfall in Japan's Category 1 storm in 97, causing 14 landslides and 3 fatalities. Barbara formed in the Eastern Pacific and Sudal Auto Post Tropical in the Western Pacific in 2001 and 2003 respectively on this day, June the 20th. 2008, uh, Typhoon Fengshan made landfall in the Philippines. 2009, Typhoon Linfa peaked as a Category 1 storm. Um, in 2011, Hogan Beatrice peaked as a Category 1 storm. A tropical storm Miri formed in the Western Pacific that year as well. And 2012, last year, Tropical Storm Talim dissipating in the Western Pacific on this day, June the 20th in the past. There you have it. And don't forget, you can track any storm that forms, including the current active storms, Barry and uh, Leapy in the Western Pacific, and obviously the Invest as well. We cover those as well on the website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking. will take you straight to the storm tracking overview page. There's uh, a few new, um, it's, it's sort of changed layout in the past day or so, where there's now tables showing quite quickly at a glance what storms are active and what warnings are in effect around the world at this, at this time. Um, and obviously you can delve deeper into each storm tracking area by basin and there you can see the track maps and also any warnings in effect in more detail and information about the storm where it's headed and uh, what the current situation is uh, with regards to that storm and uh, don't forget you can look at all the social pages as well youtube facebook and twitter on all of those just search force 13 you should find us fairly easily enough um, and don't forget to show your support by um following liking subscribing and favoriting force 13 anything else that may come to mind uh, in which you can support force 13 i appreciate anything that does occur thank you very much for all the support that's been received already and um i'm here to forecast the weather and the storms of course uh, the next bulletin will be coming up as always on the 21st of june that would be friday at around midnight utc and in between we'll probably have some special um tropical storm updates for both barry and leapy in the western pacific that'll be coming up during the day utc on thursday june 20th uh, but that's it for now